Hey guys, my name is Akram. Welcome to the Tech Guide. Right? So in this video, I will be explaining the round two solution of the second coding. So previously, around four days back, I have released the Miso round coding solution part one. So this is the first solution. In case you haven't looked the video, then go to that right now. And here is the second solution for the question that they have asked. Here we go. The question is SQL game streaming service user engagement analysis. So a, a popular game streaming services bounce inside that user engagement on the platform. They will analyze both short and long streams and determine how user engagement varies between them. So the resistance should be the following columns: username, total streams, average stream duration, total views, unique views, GT 30 minutes, unique views, LTE 30 minutes. So these are the six columns we need to write from the tables which the uh, this SQL uh, company gave. Okay, and the resultant should be in the Ascending order of the usernames. Okay, right. So let's go to the remaining the schema. Here you can see the streamers has a uh, two columns. One is ID and another one is username, uh, which is a unique one. And coming to the completed streams, where they get the three columns. One is ID, stream ID, and the duration. Stream ID is a foreign key for the streamers of streamers dot ID, which means this table. So the streamer ID is related to the ID in the streamers table. Okay, and coming to the viewers. There are three columns ID, stream ID, and duration. And the foreign key constraint is stream ID is uh, foreign key to the completed stream dot ID, which means this uh, this stream ID is, is equal to the completed stream ID here in the completed streams. Okay, and that's the schema they have given. And for example, this is the sample tables given streams using in Gamer 1, Stream Master, and Pro Gaming. And completed table is uh, stream ID, and these are the fields. And here you can see stream ID is corresponding to the ID in the streamers. So 1 1 has 4 2. So this is how it will be. And 2 2 and 3 3 for 3 3. This is the thing. For programming, we have completed stream of 35 and 7. And for streamer 2, we have only 140. And for the streamer 1, we have 45 duration and 2 2 duration. So we have a few little data on the viewers table, but I don't know, but I have taken the uh, sample data. But the expert output should be gamer, pro gaming, and stream master. Total streams 2 to 1. Average stream duration 24, 23, 48, and total views 8, 93. And this is how the expected table should be looking like. So, for that, I have created the few tables in uh, in my SQL. So, it's uh, it's in the local, but I don't know whether they are in the online command or it will be active. So, instead, this table will be already created in the back end. So, for the viewers, I have taken the only sample data which the uh, pick shows, but I don't know how the how it actually work behind. But the, how the actual code for this is should be. So here you go. So in, in case if you are if you get the same question, just write from the select statement, which is from line number three to line number twenty-nine. Okay. So let us explore that. So S is called username dot username. So we'll be selecting the username from the S table, which means stream table. Then count will be count in the CS dot ID. CS is nothing but the uh, completed streams, and B is nothing but the viewers viewers table. And C log average, which means average stream duration and the total views. And then later, what we need to we need to calculate the unique viewers JT and unique viewers LTE 30 minutes, right? So for that, we'll be taking the district case when V dot total duration greater than 30. Then we'll be returning the V dot VID and then less than or equal to then V dot V. So from then, from where from S tables, then we'll be joining all the tables from here. So we left join on similar ID on S dot ID is called CS of similar ID, which is the foreign key access. And then from the left join, we'll be again selecting the uh, CSID, VVHID, because they were also have the foreign key access, and then we'll be returning the sum of the total duration which the uh, streamers have the, and from the uh, streamers of years on CSID is equal to VID of streamer, and then we'll be grouping by CSID and VID, which the, which, the, which have the same IDs, and we'll be grouping by the username and then order by the s dot username because we need to design the output in the ascending format. So here we go. This is how the output will be looking like. So username. So I think I can't do this window, but let's see. So game one, total streams two to one, and the average duration. So because of the uh, because of the dummy data which I have taken, the 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 values will be changing. But this is the actual code that you need to write in the component of the MISO. So average stream duration thirteen to one forty eight, and total views one one zero one one. So because I didn't provide much of the data in the viewers table, so it written the null there. And unique views should be one zero zero, and unique views three zero zero. So in case if you have if you have the correct data, we'll be getting the actual result. But for the time being, I will be pausing the video for a few seconds so that you can have a glimpse of the output that which I have wrote. So,
Mendesi yang sudah dimiliki seperti orang Okay, so this is the action code And this is the action code you need to write So I'll be personally in the top case again, you can have a little So it's all based upon the false setup exam taken But in case if it differs the output changes Then what you need to do is Just go to my YouTube channel Go to the section above uh, this community or you can click on this links and give me a shot on the Instagram on with the credit card channel so I will be available there so in case if you get any uh, indicate or in case if you need to help in the examination just message me there I will be assisting you okay and that's it guys and let's catch up in another video all the best bye bye